So today I decided to replace uh, the transmission mount on the CX-5. It's a 2014 manual transmission. Uh, let me show you where the new one is sits. It's already in and torqued down. There it is. So there's one of the screws. There's another, and there's two, like two on the side here, and then one there. So I watched a video on YouTube, which I'll refer in the, the description here, which pretty much is the same as this car uh, to do the job, except this is a manual transmission. The mount itself is a, it's a different part number, but it looks like it goes in the same. Um, so the, this, the torque spec is a bit different. I'll put that in the description. And it says to do the uh, side screws first, the 19s. Those are 19s. And then it says to do that one. And then the, 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 the long one at the end. Also, make sure that they're all in first. Uh, the first one I, I wanted to put in is the, uh, the one that goes straight through because that's hard to align. I use like a long screwdriver to get it in there and then try to um, get everything aligned first. Uh, the other thing the video was miss or was different was to remove the battery tray. In that video they removed this bottom piece here, but what you could do is, at least in the manual transmission version, there's a set of wires that attaches to the battery tray just here, just behind this rail. So I took that out. That's a ten. Left these in. Removed the uh, the the, the top bra bracket, which has two mounting screws here and one here, and then on this side there's two as well. So it's a bit different, I guess. But I was able to then remove that cable that runs through. There's a zip tie holding it in, in there. You just yank it out, and then I was able to to move move that over the top and then get everything off without removing this bracket. Uh, the other thing that is different is the, oh, well, I guess it's not different, but it's missing where to mount, where to wow, jack it up. So there's like a spot that I found, this nice flat spot on the transmission. It looks like, you know, uh, it's round and it's, it's flat at the bottom. So that's a good place to put it. And obviously you got to remove this cover which is a bunch of small 10 millimeter bolts um, that runs along the side and then a bunch of clips around it. Uh, I thought maybe I could get around to not doing that, but uh, there's no way. There's no way with uh, to, to, to get like a, a, pa a point where you can uh, really get on the transmission. And then what I did was I just jacked it up a bunch of times uh, extra so it goes up. Anyways, that's... <clears throat> That's about it. The rest of the video that you was there, it's it's everything else is the same. So, and then installation is reverse of uh, removal. So that's what I'll be doing now. I'll just be putting everything back. Um, oh yeah, and this bracket too. I had to. I'm not sure how to. There's there's a tab here that holds it, but I just, I just broke it off because I couldn't get it to. Uh, so I just did what the other guy did. Is jam a crowbar there in it now it's no longer gonna stay there but I think it's sufficient anyways to uh, where it is to hold and I had to do that to get to that screw that 19 millimeter bolt um, yeah everything else should be and would be the same as the uh, other video Three bolts, three bolts holding the uh, battery tray. Two of the intake. Yeah, everything else I think is exactly the same. So uh, hope that helps. Cheers.